the movie is kind of like a fever dream, like of the worst possible scenario of kind of entering into adulthood, uh, you know, fears of finding a home, fears of raising a child, fears of, uh, you know, a committed relationship. And so the movie becomes this like nightmarish, uh, you know, landscape of all the worst possible case scenarios of that. I haven't had those. So, um, uh, but like, I can, I guess, if pressed, I would say I can, you know, kind of understand those fears as we all can of just entering into transition, transitions of life. Um, what I loved about the movie was not that, though. What I loved about the movie was like this kind of uh, very consistent, abstracted tone of uh, of a fever dream. It was not a kind of obvious political statement, even though if you looked for one, you could kind of, you know, take what you want in that regard. Um, it was a really artfully crafted uh, kind of nightmare. We made a short film called Foxes, which is sort of a similar tone, but it's more supernatural. Um, and that's about kind of nature reclaiming uh, a landscape. And we, there's some interesting ideas in it that we kind of want to expand on further. And we're also thinking about what are people actually afraid of? What are people in their 20s really afraid of? Um, and we wanted to create a new monster. And um, in Ireland anyway, and I think globally at the time with the kind of crash and everything, that uh, people were afraid of kind of, you know, living in the suburbs, stuck in a house that, and that they're trying to pay off for forever and becoming alienated from their children, not understanding what's going on with technology and everything and doing all of that for their entire lives and then just dying. Well, it's kind of like trying to create a world for the story to take place within, because the story is weird, and, uh, and, and it's a very kind of, it's, it's almost like a play in some ways, that there's very kind of three-act structure. It's like youth, to me anyway, it's like youth, middle age, old age. Um, so because the story is kind of abstract and, and weird, we needed to create a, a world for it to exist within. So, um, and. It, there is that kind of horrible kind of nightmarish thing of this uh, repetitive, everything being kind of um, monotonous and repetitive uh, in the housing. You know, like, uh, and you can't sort of, if everything looks the same, you can't really tell where you are. Um, so that was, <coughs> when we got stuck into the production design, um, yeah, we just wanted to have this kind of horrible nightmarish feel. Um, and so the color of the houses is that kind of minty green, sort of makes you feel a bit sick. Um, but also that it's a little bit like a fairy tale or something. Uh, we wanted to have a sort of storybook element to it as well. And the surreal nature of the, of the place with the, the clouds are kind of like Magritte, uh, Empire of Light um, painting. So um, all those things combined and working with uh, Philip Murphy, the production designer, we kind of uh, built this world for the story. Well, I've been friends with Imogen Poots, who's the main character in the movie for um, for 10 years, um, and uh, she met Lorcan, and and she sent me the script and recommended me for it, and I was so happy she did. Um, Lorcan uh, is a, a very funny person. It's a little early, you're probably not getting the full effect of his sense of humor but um, right now, but um, he's a very funny person but doesn't want to put that in his movies, you know, um, in, in a good way. You know, he wants to have this kind of consistent tone. Um, uh, and doesn't feel like the same pressures I do of having to, you know, constantly, uh, you know, um, apologize through humor to the world. And so, like, um, he's a, a very smart, funny guy, but is able to make this movie that is more sophisticated than, you know, a kind of comic version of this story. And um, I, I always love that. Um, I, he reminds me, I, I did a movie with Kelly Reichardt, um, who's similarly a very funny person, but instead of wanting to exploit that for, you know, um, you know, kind of some obsequious uh, love from an audience, creates these kind of very moody experiences. Um, but with enough self-awareness because of a sense of humor, because of worldliness, you know, with enough self-awareness to kind of uh, be unpretentious. And that's exactly what I think Lorcan did so well. Mm -hmm.